Hi, my name is Sarah Kaltwasser and I'm an educator and artist in residence at Keswick Wise and Wells Center for Healthy Living in Baltimore, Maryland. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a gel transfer using a photocopy. Um, so today, in order to do this project, you're going to need a small piece of wood. It should be relatively smooth. Um, you can also do this technique on surfaces like canvas or even paper, but I find that wood works the best. Um, you can see we have some little composite board here that has a smoother surface. You're also going to need some gel medium. This is a matte gel medium. You can also do this with glossy, but I find that matte is a little bit more effective and it allows you to apply glossier effects later if you like. Um, you're going to need water. Uh, I have a larger container to put my brush in after I've uh, done the gel application, and I also have a smaller container for the next phase when we're removing the back of the photocopy to emerge the transfer. Uh, I also have a, a paper plate here to um, put some gel on so that I'm not just digging into my cup, and a foam brush. I find that a foam brush is more effective. All right, so let's get started. So the process that we're going today allows us to apply a photograph or a photocopy onto a wooden surface where you can remove the paper or the backing of the photocopy and just have the photo image directly on your surface. Um, this is a great, great technique for painting. It works effectively with uh, laser uh, photocopying, but you can also do it with inkjet photocopying. It uh, doesn't matter what paper you print it on, the cheapest kind of photo pap photocopy paper is, is workable. Um, the thicker the paper, the more work you have to do on the back end, so I advocate just using regular cheap photocopy paper. Um, and uh, let's get uh, into our, our next step. So after you've cut out your uh, print to the size that you want it um, and grab the surface, uh, decide where to, to place it. Are you going to put it up at the top and do uh, additional designs or applications down at the bottom, or do you want it centered? Uh, this level of planning seems a little bit uh, excessive, but you actually need to plan exactly where you're going to put it because we don't want an excess of gel on this uh, wooden surface as we uh, do these steps. So after you've cut this out and you have your surface and you know where you're going to put it, um, you take some gel, medium. You can buy it at most art stores. It's available on Amazon. Most art store online uh, providers, uh, you can find it. And I like to apply some just to a, a paper or styrofoam plate so that I can um, really cover my brush. And uh, I'm making sure that I have it evenly coated on both sides of my, my foam brush. Now I plan to apply this image directly in the middle, okay? So I'm not going to paint directly on my paper I'm going to paint directly on my wooden surface. So I'm using the foam brush. I'm applying the gel medium exactly where I'm going to put my photocopy. I'm trying not to cover the whole surface. I'm only trying to put it exactly where I want it, which is in the center. You can see I'm using the flat side of the brush to, to get it a little bit flatter. Now you want a, a medium level coat here. You want it covered enough where you can kind of see the gel surface, right? Um, and see it looks kind of opaque in some areas where you've applied the gel, but you don't want it so thick that it's, it's almost white. Um, the way that I like to, to test is that if I put my finger on it and I feel like it's ice skating, then, then that's enough gel. If it doesn't move, then you don't have enough gel on there. And if it moves too much or you're pushing um, the gel around and you get a ton on your finger, then that's too much gel, okay? So after I've gotten it evenly coated, I'm going to take my photocopy and I'm going to place it image down, the image that I want transferred onto the surface, okay? Now I'm not, unlike decoupage, I'm not going to paint the back, okay? I'm not applying gel to the back. That's a no-no. The technique will not work if you do that. Instead, I'm just going to take my finger and from the top, moving all the way down to the bottom, I'm going to apply even pressure. If I feel little bubbles or little areas where it looks like it's not sitting, like over here, I'm going to go over there and apply pressure. Um, this isn't about uh, like 
applying so much gel that it moves around, you know that you've put the right amount of gel on if it's pretty static pretty quickly. Right? I can see a little bubble over there, so I'm pressing it down. Uh, you can also use a, a little roller, like a printmaking roller or even a rolling pen, but that's more effective if you don't have a lot of gel on the excess. If you got a little messy and it went outside the bounds of where you wanted to put it, I wouldn't suggest rolling it and just using your hand. Okay? So next, you wait. All right? So you don't immediately start to take off the, the, the pulp on the back. You're going to wait at least an hour. Um, I recommend waiting two to three hours. I know people that recommend waiting a full 24 hours. Uh, but uh, it's, it, at, very, at bare minimum, you want to wait at least an hour. Um, once you're ready to take it off, uh, you have a little container of water, and you're just going to use your fingers. Um, this is a, a hand-heavy process, as it were. And you're just going to take a little bit of water and you're going to dip it on your fingers and then you're going to start saturating the back, rubbing the image lightly. At first the paper pulp is not going to come off, you're just trying to wet it and get it evenly coated. You don't want to put too much water, that'll lift it. You know that you're applying the right amount of water because you're going to be able to start seeing the image through. The, wet, the wetted paper, okay? Now, once you get to this point where you feel like you've got most of your image that you wanna pull up, then you can start applying a little bit more pressure, just enough where you start to feel or roll up little pieces of the paper pulp. This is not a technique for someone who's heavy-handed. You wanna be pretty delicate about this. And you can see I'm starting to just slightly rub the pulp off. Sometimes this takes several passes, as in lifting up a layer, letting it dry, and then going back and doing it again. But you can see if you're being more delicate about the process, you'll get the full image intact. I've let this one dry for almost two hours, which is why it's pulling up in a pretty even manner. I'm also really going light with my hand. Now you would continue this process over several passes, like I mentioned, trying to evenly pull it off as you go. Now once you've done a couple passes, each time it dries, it's going to turn a little white like a ghost, okay? Um, but that's where you keep lightly applying water and lightly pulling up that paper pulp. Those areas that turn white, they're telling you exactly where there's, there's a thicker space of paper. So as, it, as you continue this process and pull more and more layers off, it's going to get the, the white um, showing up is going to get lighter and lighter till it doesn't turn white at all. Comfortably I advocate for three to four passes with the water lightly with your finger just to pull up all of those little rolls. Now you can see as I was doing this one where we started from the beginning uh, the pieces the rolled off pieces of paper are pretty big right um, but when you're trying to pull it off after several passes, you're just pulling off little pieces, and that's good. If you start to see an area where a, a piece of the photograph is lifting that you don't like, you stop and you go the other direction to try and pull off the paper that way so it doesn't pull up your entire image. If you let things dry longer, it's less likely to pull up. Uh, the paper's less likely to pull up the photocopy as it, as it rolls off. Um, so after several passes, you're going to get a really lovely transfer of an image and uh, it's something that you can paint in layers over, the, over with other materials like acrylic, uh, watercolor, oil paint, uh, and uh, it's a great way to um, uh, do collage or transfer images to a painted surface. Uh, thanks for your time.